So this is Timothy Amon's submission for our lazy loading tree with force.com JavaScript REST API toolkit challenge, which is quite a mouthful. So this is essentially a challenge that we put into place because a lot of times when you want to render a tree component with Visual Force, you run into governor limit problem because it's going to start sucking up your, your queries that are available to you based on the number of nodes you have in this tree. So we wanted to use the REST API, the, actually the new JavaScript REST API from Pat Patterson, one of the developer evangelists, to actually load these nodes lazily. So the first time the tree is rendered, it's going to load the first couple of nodes in the tree, and then as you expand the levels, it's going to load those child nodes using the REST API. So what we've got is we've got a custom object here called a parent object, and it basically has a relationship to itself, so it creates a, a tree-like structure. So you can see we've got parent1 here, and it's got child objects, and here's 1a-1. I select that and you can see the parent here 1a-1, here's just parent 1a that we just came from and it's got more child objects so it creates that tree, that recursive tree that you wanted to have for this. So now if I go back here, go back to this one, and so when the tree loads in this little inline visual force page, it's going to load the first couple of levels and as you click this level it's going to expand and it's going to be calling out to Salesforce with the JavaScript REST API and grabbing those nodes underneath it. So as you click, it's going to keep querying and querying and querying. So that's the lazy loading tree with the force.com JavaScript REST toolkit. And that winner again was Timothy Ainman.